Hello guys and welcome to the channel. I'm Marv. This is Readings by Marvelous Madame Tarot. This is going to be your first energy read of February. Indicated on the thumbnail by the number one. That's how we're keeping up with them. There's not going to be time frames. Um, first of all, happy Chinese New Year. Happy New Moon and Aquarius. And happy Super Bowl. Hope that this message finds you guys well and in good spirits. We're going to go ahead and go in with messages of love. The way that the cards come out will indicate the relationship status. Take it as it resonates. Everything you need to know is below in the description box for you and your collective guys. Um, also, I get a lot of people telling me they don't know where the breakout channels are. Um, <clears throat> and when you go into the YouTube search, you can simply put in at Marvelous Taurus Tribe, at the, at the ampersand, like the at sign on your keyboard or on your phone, at Marvelous Taurus Tribe, at Marvelous Cancer Tribe, at Marvelous Libra Tribe, at Marvelous Capricorn Tribe, and uh, Marvelous Pisces Tribe is going to be making their debut. It's not out yet, but I will uh, let everybody know across all platforms when that happens, okay? All right, let's go ahead and get into this. This is going to be for the beautiful sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What are the messages of love from this person to you, Aries? Let's go. We lead the energy with forgiveness. I'm struggling to get over the past. What else do we have for Aries, Collector? What else do we have for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, indecisive. I know my inability to make a decision hurts you. Okay. And finally, we have what? We have overwhelmed. The stress from this is draining me. Okay. So you've been going back and forth with a person, Aries. <laughs> Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You have went back and forth with this individual. This is a situation um, that has drained the both of you. Um, people normally mirror in relationships. I don't give a hell who started it or who finished it. A lot of the times you're mirroring because what affects you is going to affect me. Um, and vice versa, especially if we're connected in any type of thing. If there's stress and if there's draining energy, is there, if there's anything of that nature, then obviously feelings are involved, right? This person is completely overwhelmed with the way that this situation has unfolded. Um, they, maybe there is a back and forth or some type of toxic cycle that has taken place between you guys where they keep going back and forth with themselves. They're trying, they're struggling to forgive you. Um, they say that they are struggling to get over the past. So within the struggle to get over the past, there is an underlying thing of forgiveness. Will you forgive me? Typically, when someone wants your forgiveness, there should have been some type of admission that such and such events took place where it should have come with some sort of healing, hopefully conversation, Aries Collective, and an individual um, is trying to move forward with you. Not all the time, but in this particular case, that's what I'm channeling here from this card because the next card is indecisive i know my inability to make a decision hurts you so there seems to be an individual who maybe you are trying to move forward with and the events of the past is a little sketch or there was a lot of hurt and betrayal we will be clarifying in a second and now you would like this person's forgiveness and you want them to make a decision and stop flip-flopping back and forth from, you know, I miss you, I love you, but I'm hurt by you. Miss me and be in love with me and let's move forward is, is I feel like the message that they're trying to convey, that you're trying to convey to them, which is the reason why they're a little indecisive over this because they are struggling to get over some shit that you suppose it did to them. Now, again, guys, this you to them or them to you, meaning that, you know, this is the energy that I am channeling. This is either happening them to you. They want, they want you to do this 
or the way that it I'll always read it because it is in your energy, you to them, meaning this is how they're feeling about you and what they want you to do. So take it as it resonates and change it as you need to. Um, and honestly, a lot of what's coming out in their energy is that they're overwhelmed. Obviously, the stress from this is draining them. Um, I feel like there is pressure or they're feeling, you may feel like I'm not pressuring this person. Um, but you know, depending on what your blend is uh, and where your Aries is, you know, Aries, I'm not trying to get down on you guys. Um, but I have a lot of, um, a lot of, let's just say <laughs> First-hand knowledge of Aries placements, and if you are an Aries moon, depending on what's driving your personality, whatever's in your sun, um, and other places, of course, you could come off a little selfish. There is this urgency because your hair is on fire, your pants is on fire. There's a restlessness, you know? And even when it's an Aries sun, it, it comes off like, all right, I said it. Like an Aries apology, typically, and what I've seen, because every Aries is different, is like, I'm sorry you feel that way. <laughs> Hold on. Are you going to take any accountability for how I got here? And first of all, I speak from experience because I have Aries on my descendant. Um, so I have had feedback from individuals that let me know that that's how I come off. And I'm a whole Libra rising. I don't have any Aries in the inner planet other than you know, and the only Aries in my chart is where Aries is because, you know, we have everything. Getting to my point is that this person, that could be why they're feeling that way. Sometimes if you are a individual, no matter what your zodiac sign is, because I think it's a people's trait where you just move, 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 some worse than others. And you're unaware of your presence. Some people are just flat out unaware of how they come off to people. And when somebody tells them that, they're like, ah, what? Like those victim mentality zodiac signs. I'm not naming no names and I know some. That, that could be what it is. So, you know, either this person is playing the victim or maybe you are, or maybe that part of the story doesn't resonate. Either way, I'm saying that to draw an example of how this person may be feeling. You want their forgiveness. You want them to make a decision. And all of the stress of what has went on between you and this person is draining them because they feel rushed and like they haven't had an opportunity to process their damn emotions. And because of what you want and the urgency of you wanting them to make a decision because of what you want, they feel like they're overwhelmed. And that's, that's what this is. All right, let's go ahead and get into this. Why are these cards here for Aries? Okay, what popped over spirit and then popped back? No fair. All right, let me give these cards another shuffle because something popped, literally popped over and I couldn't tell what it was and popped right back. Why are these cards here for Aries? We lead with death. Okay, so it's very clear judging by the energy that there are some changes that needs to be made. You guys could be connecting with a Scorpio. Death card is here. Endings, beginnings. Like with this card, something, a cycle or some type of behavior or something within this had to end. Death. But this is not just the ending. This is both. Something's ending so something else can begin. It's both. So, and then we have the sun. So this is a fire water type of situation because we have uh, that second major arcana. And then our third one is, yeah. Okay. So you guys broke up. There was a separation here. Death, the sun, and the five of cups. Um, You could feel Aries very much so with this five of cups that this person is crying over spilled milk. And there's that selfishness. You're not trying to come off selfish. You're trying to move forward. But the fact that you are trying to move forward and this person is having a hard time, you know, it's like, would you get over it already? You cry, baby. That's what this, th and this person could feel your energy like, wait a minute, you're the one that effed this up and I should get over it. Everybody gets over things at their own time. I have a lot of experience with Aries Moon people and OMG. And it's very much so in a, a, um, urgency, like 
you have to strike when the iron is hot because if you do not strike when the iron is hot, then it's like, I'm not interested anymore. It's a very, it could be a very childish energy depending on, you know, what is driving that emotional energy, like what the personality is. So the good thing is Aries is whichever side you resonate with you to them or them to you, there's things that's changing. And I am sitting here looking at the depth. So th this person isn't 100% off on their thinking. Something did need to change because whatever was going on between you guys were extremely toxic. The good news is, is that there is a genuine love of each other. Like, and so when I see the sun and too much of the sun obviously can blind you. So, you know, it could be because somebody makes the other person feel alive. There is an energy here of, oh my God, like, you know, I love this person or I love, we love each other. You know, you make me really happy. Some individuals, again, that are un unaware of themselves or unaware how much they need other people, they can get a little upset because it's like, how dare you take your energy away from me when I'm the one that was so happy? You have to look within and figure out what the hell you're doing to make the other person un um, happy because it's not just about one person. So this really feels like, you know, nothing has come out yet. I haven't got to the past and the present about what actually happened. Because they're struggling to get over a pa over the past. So let's kind of take a look at what that is. So in the past, we have the Empress. and the present, we have the King of Swords. All right. So it looks like, just in a nutshell, that there's just selfishness. There's an inability to really um, empathize and be empathetic to how the other party is feeling. Um, and Cross Watchers, if this is your story and you're watching on behalf of this Aries and this is you... I'm going to tell you that a lot of times what I notice cross watchers for Aries is that when an individual wants to, uh, w when they are cold, when they're logic, very logical and have an inability to empathize, a lot of times they are deeply feeling people that are covering up how they really feel about the situation too, or have been hurt by someone just like them. And their hurt has turned them into who they are right now, if that makes sense. Not making any excuse, but that's how it is. So I do see Aries that it could have been that this person was ready to birth something new between you guys in the past. Um, it could have been a variety of things moving forward in a relationship, a commitment, a marriage, a pregnancy, anything. And you cut that shit out. You were like, hold on pump your brakes. I ain't ready for this. And you really probably didn't explain that. They didn't understand what was going on. They felt like, you know, they were very happy with you. You were very happy with them. Intimacy was good. Everything was good. What's the problem? And you could have been like, all right, you could be Aries, the one that's like, hold on, I need to slow this down. See, that's the irony of the situation. You are the impulsive one that could move fast and follow your passion. But when it comes down to slowing down and stopping to smell the roses, that may be not what your strong suit is. So this person felt the way because it looks like this person that you're dealing with is slow, is a grounded type individual. And I'm, I'm seeing that there's a mutual love for one another, but there's definitely something that went on. It could have been a separation. It's not giving me blatant separation but it is giving me hurt feelings and misunderstandings that's for sure let's go ahead and see what the tops of these decks are giving me damage we are both hurting from this okay and then looking one more down as we have too many differences all right so in your case opposites attract this person is very slow steady and grounded in areas you are the the particular areas that i'm speaking with Everything is rushed yesterday, late as of yesterday. Let's move right now. There is no chill with you. It's go, go, go. You are cardinal fire. It's like go, 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 go. I'm not slowing down. And this person is the opposite of you. And opposites are definitely attracting here. All right. And then looking at the top of the deck of our main deck, our clarifying deck, we have the star and the knight of pentacles. So the good news is, is that you make each other very, very happy. You miss each other. This seems to be mutual, but opposites attract. Hope, healing, and optimism is here. 
All right, Aries, like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Everything you need is below in the description box for you and your collective. And that concludes uh, number one. I will see you guys when we do it again in number two. Bye, guys. Thank you.